Hello and welcome to today's online seminar guys. How are you doing guys? How are you doing today? Hello Varun. Hello Sean. Hello Srikant. Hello Ajay. Yes Ajay, we will answer all your questions through the webinar. The seminar will start in a short while. So guys, how was your day? How was your day guys? Fine, Rajesh says fine. Hello Sumit, how are you? Okay, it was good Sumit says. I am fine Sumit, thank you. Okay guys, uh, guys before we start let me ask you, how many of you wish to go abroad for your higher studies? How many of you wish to go abroad for your higher studies, especially to US? Sumit is very interested. Rajesh, Rajesh wants to go. Samarth wants to go. Abhinav wants to go. All right. Ankit also wants to go. Guys, is it, is it particular US or you want to go to some other country? Guys, is it particularly US or some, you want to go to some other country? Ankit is uh, looking for Germany. US is preferable, says Sumit. Srikant is looking to go to US and Ankit, Ankit says UK. Paras says prefer preferably US. Gotham is ready for Germany. US or Germany, Sanjay says. Okay guys, good to know. Guys, today we are going to discuss about seven st simple steps to MS in US. Okay, by the end of the seminar, you'll be able to understand the steps you need to take to reach US for your MS. Okay. Okay. Let me introduce myself to you guys. I am Mani Kumar. I will be the coordinator of today's online seminar. I will be organizing the seminar. Okay, guys, this will be an activity-based seminar. Uh, we'll be having a few activities going on simultaneously. Okay. Uh, here as well as on Facebook. We have simultaneous activities going on here as well as on Facebook. Okay, And also there are a few goodies to grab there are, uh, along with the activities. You will be able to win a few goodies. So keep an eye on those goodies. You blink and you miss. Okay. So guys, how many of you have a Facebook account? How many of you have a Facebook account guys? Ankit, Ankit has, Sumit also has, Srikant has, Samarth has, Shekhar has, Gautam also has. I am sure almost all of you have got one. Haven't you guys? Well, I personally can't imagine someone not having a Facebook account. Can you? Not at all, Gautam says. Okay. Anyway, guys, we will start the uh, start the seminar soon. But before we do, I have sent you a link. You can click on the link and log on to GREH Facebook page. Okay, I have sent you a link. You can click on the link and log on to GRH Facebook page. I've sent you a link of GRH Facebook page.
Okay, guys. Uh, guys, you can click on the link and log on to our Facebook page. I have sent you a link. Guys, where, uh, where are you attending the seminar from? Just curious, just out of curiosity, I'm asking. Where are you attending the seminar from? Are you at, at in the hostel? Are you at home? Or are you traveling? Or are you in an internet cafe? Um, Harshit, Gautam, Sean are at home. I see. Okay. Sanjay is in hostel. So Sanjay, have you invited your friends to the seminar? Sanjay, Sanjay is from Gujarat. Which part of Gujarat, Sanjay? Venkat is also from hostel. Venkat, have you invited your friends to the seminar? Gandhinagar, great. Sanjay, uh, what you can do, you can invite your friends to the seminar so that they, 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 they can also listen to the seminar. I am sure it will be useful for them. Okay. Venkat has invited his friends. Okay, guys. Guys, now that you have opened, your, opened the GREH Facebook page, okay, what you can do is you can share the latest post with your friends, the post that says, I am attending, join me. You can share the latest post with your friends. Okay, you can let them know that you are attending a very useful seminar for GRE. You can like or you can you can even comment on it. You can even tag your friends uh, on the picture so that they they know what you are doing right now. Okay, you can share you can share the picture with your friends. You can let them know you are attending the seminar. The latest post on the page that says I am attending, join me. Okay. Okay. Without much ado, we'll move on to the seminar. Okay. We have we have our uh, we have our GRE expert uh, waiting with us here today, Mr. Abhishek Ramachandran. He is eagerly waiting to guide you guys on seven steps to MS in US. Okay. He has helped thousands of students with uh, over the years with the GRE preparation. Okay. Let's talk to him. Hello, Abhishek. How are you doing today? Hi, Mani. I'm, I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, so, good evening, guys, and welcome to today's online seminar. How many of you are all excited? I heard Mani was telling me all of all of you guys are very excited and you have a lot of doubts. Uh, Harshit is, uh, has a lot of doubts. What about the others? What about the others? Srikanth also has a lot of doubts. Sean, he's pretty confused. He has a lot of doubts. Curious to know the facts, say eh, Sanjay. Sudarshan would like to know. Uh, Sudarshan would like to know how do I work in the gaming industry? Okay. What about the others? Okay, so guys, once again, good evening and welcome to today's online seminar. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Abhishek. I am a senior GRE advisor from GREs.com and I have successfully helped more than 1,000, 1,500 students each year with a GRE preparation. Okay, and that is exactly what I intend to do in today's online seminar. But before we begin, guys, uh, tell me what are your expectations from today's online seminar? For those who are already there on Facebook, you can type it in the Facebook page itself. Uh, I'll just send you the link. Okay, you can just type it as a comment. What are your expectations from today's online seminar? You can just comment it in the I am attending post. Just comment it in the I am, I am attending post. If you have any doubts also, you can just send it in that post and money will reply to your doubts. So what are your expectations from today's online seminar? Well, come on. Gaming industry is one such industry where a lot of um, it definitely has a lot of scope. They generally look for people. Uh, they generally look for programmers, visual designers, animators, analytics. Lots of fields are there in 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 base in gaming industry. Okay. 
So which part are you more interested in? Are you more interested in the visual aspect or more the programming aspect? Okay, so guys, uh, what are your expectations from today's online seminar? You can type it in the uh, you can type it in the uh, in the post. I am attending post. Uh, Money, can you? Uh, is there any is there any post in the Facebook page? Yes, Abhishek, I will just uh, let you know. Okay. Uh, guys, can everyone hear me properly? Uh, I, I think this is there any audio trouble or can you hear me properly? Okay, Venkat can hear me perfectly. All right. What about the others? Nagarjuna also. Yes, sir. Say Sean. Abhishek, we have a comment from Moni. Moni says, "I want to know how many words I am capable of learning using GRH program." Okay, Moni would like to know how GRH will help you with with her verbal section. Correct. That's what she would like to know. Okay. Proma says how to start the preparation. I am no wise. Okay, so Proma is just starting a preparation. All right, well, Proma, this is the exact uh, the webinar for you. This online seminar will definitely clear all your doubts. Hey, any more money? Okay. Uh, so, guys, shall we move forward? Are we uh, shall we move forward with the online seminar now that I have your expectations? Now I have a clear idea about. uh what your expectations are shall we move forward guys okay now that i uh, money told me that all of you have already decided on doing your masters correct tell me guys which admissions are you planning to go for which admissions are you planning to go for are you going for the fall 2014 admissions spring 2014 or you not quite decided on which admissions you're going for or you need help from an expert to decide Which admissions are you planning to go for? Everyone can participate, guys. I would like everyone to participate in this poll question. Uh, for all of you who have invited your friends, you can ask them also to participate. How many of you have invited your friends? Who are all attending the online seminar with your friends? Okay, so Darshan is attending with his friends. Kamran, so Darshan, two of his friends. So who are all attending with you, Sudarshan? Kamran is attending with three. Guys, you can invite all your friends for this online seminar. Okay, Sudarshan is invited. Teja and Sharath. All right, guys. Which admissions are you planning to go for? Fall 2014, spring 2014. Not yet decided, and you need help from an expert. Okay, so around thirty-two percent of you guys are going for fall twenty fourteen. Fifteen percent are going for spring twenty fourteen. Twenty-four percent have not yet decided on when exactly to which admissions to go for. Don't worry, I'll help you with this online seminar. And twenty-nine uh, percent says that they need help from an expert to decide. All right, okay. So shall we move forward, guys? Are we clear? Shall we move forward? All of you have decided which admissions you're planning to go for. Now, how many of you are confused on when exactly to write your exam? When exactly to write GRE? How many of you are confused on when to write GRE? Sanjay, Rajesh, guys, how many of you are confused? When exactly should I write GRE? Now we know which admission season to go for, but when do I write the exam? Venkat, Sean, Sai Kiran, Drishti, Ajay, Sumit Sharma. What about the others, guys? All right. How many of you would like advice on? How many of you would like to you know how exactly to choose your GRE date? When to write the exam? All right. Well, guys, the first thing which you need to do is you need to decide on which admission season you are planning to go for. Okay, if you are going for fall twenty fourteen, spring, you need to first decide which admissions you should go for. Okay, and then you should keep your profile ready. Just just do a small just uh, keep your profile ready. All your paper presentations, your CGPA, your college percentage, just keep everything ready. 
Okay. Uh, guys, can everyone hear me? Okay. And the other thing which you need to do, uh, the other thing which you need to consider is your current preparation level. You need you need to have a very clear idea on where you stand in terms of your current preparation level. All right. Now, how do we do that, guys? How do we know our current preparation level? How do we find out our current preparation level? Exactly, a GRE prep test. Just take a take a, a take a mock test. If you take a mock test, you'll be able to know exactly where you stand in terms of your preparation. Correct? Exactly. Now you can also take a GRE edge diagnostic test at the end of this online seminar. I'll tell you exactly how you can do that. Okay. And another factor which you need to consider is the time available for your preparation. Okay. Now a lot of you might be working, a lot of you might be in college, so you need to find out exactly how much time you'll be able to prepare, how much time you'll be able to spend for your preparation. And your target score, guys, target score is also very important. Okay, you need to you need to have a clear target score in your mind so that you'll be able to work for, towards that. Okay? And with with all this information, you should try you should check your GRE date. Okay? With the help of all this information, you have to decide on when exactly to write your exam. Now, 29% 20, told that you need an expert to decide which admissions to go for, how to book a GRE date. Tell me, guys, now how many of you are clear? Now, how many of you are clear on when exactly to write your GRE exam? Because in order to do your master's in the United States, GRE is very important. Okay, so this is seven steps. GRE is very important in this seven steps. Okay. Okay, now we spoke about GRE, but before that, guys, why do you want to study in the US? Why do you want to study in the US? I remember in my earlier online seminar, someone told me that they have really fast cars. <laughs> I mean, that was his reason. <laughs> why, why do you want to study in the US? Guys, if you have any doubts, just type in your doubts and money would reply to your doubts. Even I'll reply to your doubts. Monica, for cultural exposure, Sanjay says, good research facilities. I think there's a lot of money in the USA, says Trina. Well, correct. Uh, fair enough. A lot of money. Money, says Sean. Research availability. International exposure. For settling down, says Charan. Good practical knowledge for the scope in aero, aerospace and practical knowledge. Okay, Rajesh says that he had some trouble logging into the seminar. Guys, uh, did, did any of you face any trouble logging into the online seminar? Did any of you face any trouble? Uh, Gautam says no, Arjun says no. Monica, Ankit, Sean, Kaushik, Charan says it went smoothly. Okay, all right. So guys, you can just let me know in case your friends have a trouble in logging into the seminar. Okay? All right. Now tell me guys, why exactly do you want to study in the US? Why do you want to study in the US? To work in my favorite company in the US, says Sudarshan. Which is your favorite con con uh, company, Sudarshan? Money and hands-on experience. Oh, okay. Well, guys, these are the main reasons why students prefer to study in the US. Okay. Now, the first reason is that US is open to cultural diversity. Alright, it's open to cultural diversity. It's basically like the whole world under one roof. That is how United States is. You get a lot of students from India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, a lot of countries. And not only that, you also get a greater choice of universities and specializations. Okay, you get better opportunities to learn abroad. Okay, and they are also the best in international exposure and also forefront in research and industry collaboration. So unlike in India where you 
study for two years you study for two years and then go for your placements okay in the united states when you're studying itself you get a lot of internship opportunities okay they have a lot of industry collaboration so you'll be able to work as well as study at the same time okay guys so these are the main reasons why students why students prefer to study in the us all right these are the main reasons now all of you decided that you want to study in the us correct all of, all of us decided now what are your typical concerns guys what are your concerns what is your greatest concern regarding your higher education is it visa is it finance gre score uh choosing a university or your academic performance what is your what is your greatest concern visa says srinath Arjun says all of the above. Finance and past academic performance. So, Mr. Sanjay says finance. Okay, Sanjay and Sumit agree. Finance says Rajesh. What about the others? Visa, past academic scores are low. Says Sri Ram. Mega says all. all right well guys the main the, the general concern with students face is the first thing is high cost will i be able to support myself in the united states will i be able to will i be able to support myself will i get a will i get uh, will i be able to pay the fees will i be able to afford my cost of living and then do i have sufficient academic achievements will i actually be eligible for a program in that particular university will i be eligible for the program will i get through the admit admission and then what all university should i apply to how many of you have the doubt you decided that you want to do your masters abroad but i'm not sure which admission should i go for correct and after that visa visa is another step which most of the most of you might have a concern in. and then the application procedure now the application procedure a lot of steps are involved here statement of purpose transcripts grade points and gre toefl score a lot of steps are involved now because a lot of steps are involved what i have done is i have simplified those and i have put it into seven steps seven easy steps okay those are your seven steps to ms in us okay now the first step is good academic achievements okay the grades or marks transcripts your projects paper presentations internships which you've done okay this is the first step and this is the most important step then comes a high gre and toefl score okay then comes selection of university letter of recommendation your statement of purpose finance and at the end visa okay these are the seven basic steps these are your seven steps to ms in us are you all clear with this guys are you all clear with these seven basic steps Are we clear with these seven basic steps? Now I'll be explaining each and every step as we move forward. But are we clear? Do we have a clear idea of what what these steps are? Okay. Now, good academic achievements. Well, guys, the first thing which you need to do is you need to maintain a consistently high CGPA and percentage, a good, consistent college percentage. Okay. you select electives select electives in the area of your interest okay do a lot of projects do a lot of paper publications try to do a lot of internships okay these are the things which come under your academic achievements now not everyone is lucky enough to get a consistently high college percentage correct guys how many of you agree with me not everyone is lucky enough to get a consistently high college percentage now unless you have a time machine because most of you are in your final year or working professionals correct final year or pre final year now unless you unless you have a time machine you cannot go back and write your first semester second semester answers again um, exams again correct can you do that 
<laughs> Harshit would love to build his own time machine. Correct. So, what do we do, guys? Since this is the most important step, what do we do? Well, that is where your second step will help you. Okay, that is where your second step will help you. That is a high GRE score. Okay, guys, the main importance of a GRE score is that it adds to your credentials. Okay, especially if your academics have not been up to the mark. Okay, now if you've not have, if you do not have a very consistently high college percentage, your GRE can help you. Okay. And not only that, uh, not only that, it also increases your chances into getting uh, getting an admit into higher ranked universities. All right, guys, how many IITs are there in India? Can you even tell me how many IITs are there in India? Seven, twelve, eight says Arjun. Sean says thirteen. How many IITs are there in India? Okay, now why is an IIT famous, guys? Academics, the quality, correct. So, do you mean to tell me that there are only there are only around ten to twelve quality colleges in India? But guys, in the United States, there are more than two hundred to three hundred colleges which are of higher quality than IITs. So, tell me, would you want to apply to a place where there are only around 12 quality colleges or would you want to apply to a place where there are more than 200 to 300 colleges? Tell me, guys. Where, where, where would you apply? Obviously, US says Charan. Priyanka Shekhawad says US. Obviously, US. Well, guys, that is where your GRE will help you. Because if you write your GRE, it opens doors to some of the top US universities. Okay? And guys, how many of you don't want to spend your daddy's money? How many of you don't want to spend your daddy's money for your masters? What if academics are very good and TOEFL GRE scores are less? Well, um, the thing is, the thing is, if you get lower GRE scores, it it reduces your chances of getting into top rank universities. Harshit, okay. Okay, guys, how many of you don't want to spend your daddy's money for your masters? Charan, Sudarshan, Sanjay, Sai Kiran, Srinath, Mani, Ajay, Kaushik, Srina, Sean. Sean does not want to uh, give his dad any more stress. Very good. Well, guys, I have a news which, which can definitely bring a smile in your face. How many of you would like to hear that? How many of you would like to know the news? Well, guys, with a high GRE score, you can get financial aid also. Okay, if you get a high GRE score, it drastically increases your chances for a financial aid. Okay, it drastically increases your chances for financial aid. All right. So are we clear? All right, guys. Time for the millisecond moment. Guys, how many of you are aware of the millisecond moment? Sudarshan is aware. Kaushik, Kaushik doesn't know. No idea, no idea Sir Not sure. I don't know. No clue. All right, all right. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what is the millisecond moment. Guys, as I promised in the beginning of the seminar that we'll have a small activity. Okay. Let's start the activity. Today's GRE millisecond moment.
Okay. For that, all you need to do is go to the GRES Facebook page and answer the question that I have posted right now. The first person to answer it correctly will be declared the winner. Okay. You need to go to our Facebook page and answer the question that, that has been posted. The first person to answer it correctly will be declared the winner of, G, of the GREH millisecond moment. Okay. Guys, as I told you, there are goodies to grab. The first person to answer the question correctly will get a chance to talk to I'll talk to Abhishek directly. You can ask your question directly to him and clarify your doubt. I see already there are a lot of responses coming in. How about the rest of you guys? Sudarshan and Trina have or have both responded. How about the rest of you? Now guys, uh, GRE is a time based test. How fast can you be in your GRE? If you are not quick enough, that's it. I see almost almost all of you have commented. That was a simple question, wasn't it, guys? I expect all of you to answer it correctly. It includes your verbal as well as your quant skills. Okay? Guys, shall we announce the winner? Time's up, guys. Shall we announce the winner? All right. Can you guess, guys, who who could be the winner? Can you guess who is the winner? Charan says Sandeep. Okay. Okay, guys, and the winner for today's GREH millisecond moment is Sudarshan Ravi Kumar. Give a big round of applause for Sudarshan Ravi Kumar. That was very well done Sudarshan, that was really fantastic and that was really quick, really good. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the answer guys, the answer is B, B 7th month of the year, August is not the 7th month of the year, August is 8th month of the year. It was a tricky question, you had to apply your verbal as well as your quant skills. Sudarshan got it right. Okay. Sudarshan, now since you have won the GRH millisecond moment, you now have the opportunity of talking to Abhishek directly and uh, ask, ask him your doubt. Okay, if, if you have the mi a microphone ready with you, we will give you the audio access. You can ask your doubt directly to Abhishek. Do you have a microphone ready with you, Sudarshan? Would you like to ask him a doubt? Okay. Uh, Sudarshan doesn't seem to have a mic microphone with him. Okay, so we'll continue with the online seminar. Okay. Or uh, you can even type your question uh, in the, in the chat box. Uh, we'll try. We'll try to answer. So that you can even type in your question. Abhishek will answer. So good job Sudarshan, you are the millisecond moment winner, so a small round of applause. Guys, once again, all of you did a good job for participating, uh, you did a very good job. So shall we move forward guys? Shall we move forward? Are we all clear on the importance of GRE exam?
Okay, now all of us know, all of us know the importance of, of the exam. Correct, all of us know the importance of the exam. Now, how exactly do we score well on GRE, in, in GRE? What will help you to score more? How many of you would like to know how GRE will help you with your GRE preparation, guys? How many of you would like to know how GRE will help you with your GRE preparation? Sriram would like to know. Gautam would like to know. Sanjay would like to know. Charan would like to know. What about the others, guys? How many of you would like to know how GRE will help you with your GRE preparation? Okay. Guys, in GRE Edge, as soon as you enroll, you will be assigned two trainers. Okay, One trainer will be for your verbal section and one trainer will be for your quant section. Okay. Now, what they'll do is as soon as you enroll, they would ask you to write a diagnostic test. Okay. Guys, how many of you know what a diagnostic test is? How many of you know what a diagnostic test is? Exactly, to test your current status, to know exactly where you stand. So they'll give you a diagnostic test, all right, and they'll be able to know exactly where your strength and weakness is. Okay, they'll know exactly where your strength and weakness lies. And with the help of that information, your GRES trainers would give you a personalized study plan. All right, so all your details would be there in your study plan, how many hours to study, what all to study, every detail would be there. All you have to do is just use your username, password, login, and prepare. Okay, now you will get a number of learning sessions, you would get a number of learning sessions and after each session you would have session based tests and also surprise tests. Alright, now guys when you are studying in the middle of the night and you come across a doubt, how exactly do you clear your doubts? When you are studying in the middle of the night and you have a doubt, how exactly do you clear your doubts? Google, Priyanka says Google. <laughs> Charan says call up friends and bother them. That's a very good interesting way. Sanjay says Google. Prema says Google. But guys, when you search on Google, do you always get the correct answer? When I search, I get more than 1000 results. I won't even know which website is, is, is credible or not. So if you study that way, if you study that, that way, wouldn't it, uh, wouldn't it affect your GRE preparation? Well, guys, that is why GRE has developed a feature called as InstaDoubt. Okay, so with the help of InstaDoubt, you just click on InstaDoubt when you are preparing. If you come across a doubt, just click on InstaDoubt and type in your doubts. Okay, you click on InstaDoubt and the chat box should appear. You type in your doubts and click on Submit. And your doubts will be directly forwarded. Okay, and what will happen is GRE has helped more than 12,000 students and uh, more than lakhs of doubts have been raised. Okay, and trainers have also uh, have also replied to each and every doubt. So what will happen is, if your doubt is similar to the other uh, other doubts asked by twelve thousand students, you would be you would receive the instant answers. Okay, your trainers might have replied to those doubts, so you would receive instant answers. Now, if it's a unique doubt, or if you have more than three or four questions, you type in all your questions and click on submit, and your doubts will be there directly forwarded to your trainers. Okay. It will be directly forwarded to your trainers and your trainers would reply to your doubts the next day. Okay? And not only that, you would also have the telephone number and email ID of your trainer. So, you will be able to contact them between 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock. So, anytime during that time, you can just give them a call and you, you can give them a call and they will reply to your doubts. Alright, now uh, uh, a lot of you study at 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the night, correct? Now when you are studying in the night, your trainers also will be able to see what exactly you are doing, how many sessions you are taking, how you are taking your sessions. Okay, GRH has developed a software called as millisecond monitoring and personalized feedback. Now what the software does is it records each and every mouse click of yours in our website. Okay, so your trainers would be able to know, your trainers would be able to know exactly how many hours you are preparing, how many sessions you are taking. Okay, how many sessions you are taking, how you are answering the question. 
all details like that your trainers would have with the help of the millisecond monitoring software. So basically, you would get a feedback on a millisecond basis, guys. If you get a feedback system like this from from two uh, from two trainers from two experts, tell me how will it help you in your GRE? How will it help you with your GRE preparation? Score boost for sure, says Rajesh. <laughs> what about the others, guys? How will it help you in your GRE preparation? Three twenty plus. Your score will be placed good, says Trishti. It'll make you more confident, says Trina. Three thirty plus, says Ankita. Guys, and not only that, after your preparation, you will also get complete full length GRE style tests, actual computer adaptive GRE style tests. All right, actual computer adaptive tests. So tell me, guys, if you prepare like this with two trainers, complete study materials, okay, complete study materials available twenty four seven. All right, available twenty four seven and comprehensive millisecond feedback on a millisecond basis. Tell me, guys, how many of you feel you can reach your target score? Charan was the first person to answer. Gautam, it will become a piece of cake. I can do this, says Drishti. Ankit says he can definitely reach his target score. What about the others, guys? Rajesh will reach. Well, guys, your GRE's program will also include two personal coaches: a verbal personal coach and a, and a quant coach. Extensive study material. Okay, and you also have a dedicated student welfare team where the team will take care of all your non-academic needs. Okay, then you also have a student group, Facebook student group, where you can speak to other fellow GRE students and share your doubts. Okay, and not only that, you will get a lot of academic seminars, quant seminars, verbal seminars, analytical writing. Okay, funding option seminars, university selection seminars, lots of online seminars like this. And not only really that, we have a lot of applications, a lot of vocab applications, okay. And you would also have guest seminars where industry experts from different fields would come and present guest seminars. And you'll also get a number of reminders and alerts. So in case your in case your your preparation is getting delayed because of some reason, okay, they would send you reminders and alerts, okay. And you, there would also you would also be given a progress report on your performance with the help of the progress report app, where you'll be able to compare your performance with the performance of others who have achieved your target score. Okay, and in case you have any dissatisfaction with your current preparation or with a learning module, you can just click on our, on quality bell where you can directly speak to our managing director. Okay, in case you face any quality, uh, in, in case you have any dissatisfaction. You can just you can directly speak to the managing director. Now this is what comes in your complete program. Okay, guys, how many of you would like to see what students have to say about their GRE preparation? Charan would like to see. Sanjay would like to see. Drishti would like to join. Definitely, Drishti. I'll ask a counselor to give you a call. Okay. Guys, Nitin Haridas got a total GRE score of 334 out of 340. Okay, he's a working professional from Maharashtra. Chaitanya got a total GRE score of 324. He's from Bispilani, Goa campus. Siddhartha got a total GRE score of 330. He's from Vellore Institute of Technology, VIT, Vellore. Guys, how many of you would like to listen to them directly? What they have to say? How many of you would like to directly listen to them, guys? Okay, Charan would like to listen. Ankit, it would be inspiring, says Charan. Definitely, guys. I'll do one thing. I'll just send you the link. Okay, I'll send you a link where you will be able to hear directly from GRE toppers. All right, their conversation and their GRE experience. You can directly listen to them. All right, and these are a few toppers from GRE Edge. Um, Anand Kumar got a total GRE score of three twenty five. Uh, Anusha got a total GRE score of three twenty eight. All right, these are just a few toppers from GRES.com. I'll just send you a link where you can see the complete GRES toppers list. 
Okay, complete GRE toppers list. Uh, the GRE is Wall of Fame. All right, where there are more than. Uh, that's good, says Drishti. Well, guys, how many of you would like to see yourself over here? I know most of you would. <laughs> okay, so guys, I hope you understood how exactly to clear your GRE and uh, how exactly to prepare for your most important step. Are we all clear? So shall we move forward to the third step? Uh, Manish, I do not understand your question. Okay. Now guys, how many of you remember what the third step was? How many of you remember what the third step was? Exactly. University selection. Correct. Guys, how do we select a university? Well, the first thing is that you need to select a university. First thing which you need to do is you need to check the courses offered. You need to know what all courses are offered in that particular university. Alright? And not only that, also the rank of the university. Okay, ranking is also very important. How many of you would like to go into a top ranked university? Correct. So ranking is also important. And not only that, guys, you do a faculty profile. Once you shortlisted a university, you do a faculty profile. All right? Now, the best way to do this is by visiting the university website. You just log into the university website itself. Okay? Where you can do a small faculty profile. You can also use LinkedIn. How many of you are familiar with LinkedIn? Trishti is familiar. Okay, well guys, you can use LinkedIn also to do a faculty profile. And then internship. You also need to understand, you also need to find out the internship opportunities. Okay, you also need to find out the internship opportunities. Okay. And then placement. Now, how do we find out guys? How do we find out the placement and internship opportunities? Can anyone tell me? How do we find out the placement and internship opportunities? Professors mailing them, says Charan. Yes, that is one way. Well, guys, you can use Facebook for that. <laughs> yes, you can use Facebook for that. What you have to do is just you go to the university alumni page. Okay? Just go to the university. You go to the university Facebook page, the alumni page. Speak to a few students, message them, and then you'll be able to find out. This is the best way to do that. You just find out. Find out what they're doing now. Okay? And not only that, guys, you also find out the international student population. Check if they have an Indian students community or whichever country you're from. Just check if they have a student community. All right? And not only that, you also need to be clear about your accommodation. Where exactly you will stay. Okay, would the university provide you an accommodation? Would you have to go find out parallelly? Alright, accommodation is very important, guys, because see you would be spending you would be spending around three to uh, around two to three years minimum in that particular place. Correct. So if your accommodation is not very good, then you wouldn't enjoy your whole master's experience. How many of you agree with me? So finding out, doing a bit of research about accommodation is also very important. Okay, Drishti agrees, Sriram agrees, Charan agrees. What about the others guys? Okay. And not only that, tuition fee. This is a very important factor. Okay. Now tuition fee, what you can do is you can just go to the university website. Okay. And under the fees and uh, program and fees, you can find this information. Okay? Because, see, not everyone would have a very big budget. Correct? And not only that, you know, if you are going for a loan also, you need to know the exact tuition fee amount. Okay? So do a, do a small research, find out exactly what the tuition fee is and also the cost of living. Alright? 
Cost of living again can be found out in the UNAC website. They will give a basic idea. See, if you're, if you're looking for the university accommodation, then that would definitely be a bit more expensive. But if you're looking for, um, uh, if you're going for an accommodation which is not a university accommodation, okay, then uh, it'll be it'll be cheaper. Now the best way to do this is again go to the university page, just speak to a few students who have who are pursuing their masters in that particular university and find out. Okay, then you can do that. All right, guys. So the next time you're in Facebook and your mom tells you, what are you doing in Facebook? You can tell them, I'm actually researching. <laughs> Another excuse for using Facebook. But guys, see, Facebook can be used in this way also. It's actually, it's actually a very good tool to do research. Okay? And the last but not the least is Visa. Visa is another very important factor. Okay? Climate is, is another very important factor. Now, the reason why I'm telling climate is because, see, now, how many of you are big fans of cold climate? Cool, cold climate. Manish, Drishti, not me, says Charan. Well, Charan, I'm your friend. Even I'm not a big fan of very, very cold climate. So now if I go some place where I go to some place where it's cold all around the year, then I wouldn't enjoy the climate. I wouldn't enjoy the whole experience. Okay, so same same the case of others who don't like warm weather. Alright? So what happens is see if you're not comfortable with the climate and again you'd be spending two to three years in that particular place, then again it it wouldn't be great. Your experience would not be great. Okay. So you also just do a small research, check out what climate what climate it is, how how the climate is. Okay, because yeah, climate is also a very important factor. So all these factors need to be considered before you select your university. Okay? Are we clear? All right. Then comes your letter of recommendation. Guys, how many of you know what a letter of recommendation is? How many of you have a very clear picture on what a letter of recommendation is? <laughs> well, a letter of recommendation is not like the letter of recommendation you get in India. Okay, where you get it signed by a, by a big politician, you get a letter signed by him and you directly walk into a college. Okay, that is not how a letter of recommendation works. Now, basically, universities would like to know your abilities, such as your intellectual ability, ability to communicate, self-reliance, independence of thought, your motivation to pursue higher studies, your professional interest. Okay. Now, how many of you are working? How many of you are working professionals? Jay Prakash is working. Sumit, Charan. Ankita is working for Infosys. Charan is working for CTS. Charan, cognizant. Drishti is in a final year. How many of you are working, guys? Sumit is working for Accenture. Priyanka is working for TCS. Harshit GM. Okay. So guys, for all of you who are working, you can get your letter of recommendation from your manager or your team leader. Nagarjuna is working for I, I gate. Okay. You can get your letter of recommendation from your manager or team leader. Now for all of you, uh, for all of your, uh, for all of you who are studying, okay, you can get your letter of recommendation from your project guide, head of the department or your professor. Okay. Now generally each university they would ask for around three letter of recommendations, but I would suggest you to be prepared, get around five letter of recommendations ready. Charan, you can get one from your team leader, one from your manager and one from your university. Well Pranav uh, Pranav is asking how about those who have passed the job, have passed college and are waiting for the job? Well Pranav you can get it from your college itself. You can get your letter of recommendation from your college itself. Okay. Uh, well the sort of 
the soft copy the soft copy would be enough but but pranav it depends on the university if they request you to send a hard copy then you would have to send manish kumar yes it is compulsory yes devarun you can get your letter of recommendation from your college if you are working are not necessary ajay it does not have to be a from a person who has a phd the, it's not a mandatory requirement are we clear about a letter of recommendation are we clear guys it doesn't matter charan if it's not a reputed university see primarily the letter of recommendation should be taken from someone who knows you very well okay who will be able to write about you professionally okay so it doesn't matter if your university is not that great or if if your that that that, that won't be a problem okay so shall we move forward guys guys are we all clear on what a letter of recommendation is a letter of recommendation okay it's basically a letter we written by your by your professor your hod or if you're working your manager stating that this particular person i i would like to recommend this particular person so let's say if tom if tom is uh, if tom got, gets an admit okay so the professor will tell i would like to recommend tom for this particular program in your college all right uh it should be in the in the uni in the university letter head debrun is asking if i if i want to apply to five universities then do i need 20 letter of recommendations no guys you just need around 3 to 5 unique letter of recommendations okay yes priyanka college letter head it should be in your college letter head yes uh, see you don't have to send the hard copy you just need a soft copy all right guys just scan it in your college letter head and you can just send it to them all right uh yes jay prakash there is an online lor system see there are few universities where what they'll do is they'll send you a link where you have to enter your letter of recommendation so they'll directly send the professor a link and the professor would have to fill in all right but not every university have that system they or not every university they have that system all right so uh, most of universities they have this uh, if if it's not the case then what you have to do you have to scan the letter of recommendation in a letter head and send it to them all right so guys are we clear with a letter of recommendation okay now a statement of purpose how many of you know what a statement of purpose is that is fine money content you can get it from your professor itself okay all right guys how many of you are clear about a statement of purpose okay well guys a statement of purpose is basically a one page document all right it's to express yourself it's to express yourself it's to Uh, it's uh, you have to write out you you have to write the motivation for higher studies what exactly motivated you to do your higher studies okay 
uh, how this particular program will help you in the area of your interest in achieving your goal and then you also need to mention why exactly you selected that particular university okay now generally it's a one page document no flowery language is make it simple and sincere all right just uh, don't don't put any flowery language at all okay guys i'll give you an example of a bad a sop a bad statement of purpose now uh, how many of you have seen ravan the movie ravan sharukh's ravan Charan has seen, Bilal has seen. I uh, someone um, someone told me that they want he wants to do his masters in gaming. Okay, so guys, I'll tell you a very bad example of an SOP. Please don't write that. Okay, uh, because I saw the movie Ravan, I got very inspired, and now I want to do my masters in gaming in your particular university. Okay, please please don't write uh, things like that. <laughs> okay yes that would definitely not go well with the university you have to write your sop okay it should be brief it should be sincere and to the point okay why exactly you want to do that particular course how exactly that course will help you in achieving your goal okay i i are you clear guys there's no fixed format but ideally it it should have a paragraph an intro a body and a conclusion now the intro should be about the field how exact the scope of the field and how the field will help you okay and in the body of the sop you can write what all achievements you've done in the area of your interest and how this particular program will help you all right now if you would like a sample sop you can just search in google all right a lot of templates are available a lot of samples are available you can use it all right but uh, ideally an sop should not be very big a statement of purpose should not be very big because each day each day professors they get around Uh, 20 to 30 SOPs, and they won't be able to read everything. All right. So if you make it into a very big, lengthy document with two, three pages, they won't even read through the whole thing. All right. So make it small. Make it small, and just write write a one-page document. Harshit, he's done his engineering. Uh, he has five years of experience. Okay. He wants to do his masters in computer science. All right. Well, Harshit, you definitely have a very good chance of getting into uh, a top-ranked university itself, okay? Because you have five years of experience. But what you need to do is you need to aim for a, at least a score of around three twenty if you're going for a top-ranked university. Monica is asking, do we have to use a highly complicated vocabulary in SOP? Well, Monica, I wouldn't suggest you to do that. Make it simple, sincere. Don't use a Shakespeare-ish kind of a language. Don't use a very flowery language, basically. All right, because if you do that, then they'll think that your this is uh, if they find out that this is not how you write generally, then that would become a problem. So make it simple and sincere. Okay, that's okay, Harshit. That is not a problem. It doesn't matter if you switch streams. Yes, Pranav, you can st switch streams. But if you are switching your stream, what you have to do is in your SOP you have to mention exactly why you are shifting your stream. You should tell. You should you should specifically mention why exactly you want to change your stream. Okay. Yes, Charan, mechanical to software. You can do the Harshit Charan. Yeah, Harshit also has the same problem. Harshit also asked me if I can switch my stream. You can. There's no problem with that. There's no problem, guys. You don't have a problem. You can switch your streams, all right. But there should be a proper, valid reason reason in your SOP. How can I cover my low percentage in SOP? Says Sri Ram. Well, Sri Ram, the best uh, I would suggest you to not mention your scores. Okay, that is the only way you can cover it. Don't mention it. Don't mention it uh, specifically because, anyways, you would have to send them the transcripts. Correct. So you don't have to specifically mention it in your SOP. That's okay, Harshit. That's fine. Okay, if your college aggregate is not there, see that is why I said, guys, that is why I was telling that GRE score is very important. Okay, so that it will help you. All right, guys, time for the GRE as Academy Award. Uh, all right, money definitely. So okay, guys, uh, guys, uh, before go, uh, getting on to the GRE as Academy Award, I would like you to answer a poll question. Guys, you can answer the question that you see on the screen. What should be today's GRE as Online Academy Award? 
A GRE book of your choice, Flipkart voucher worth Rs. 500. Pizza meal for you, your family and friends. Guys, okay, we are going to we are going to conduct the GREH Academy Award in a short while. If you were the winner of GREH Academy Award, what would you choose? GRE book of your choice, Flipkart voucher worth rupees 500. Pizza meal. meal for you, your family and friends. Money says GRE book. Drishti says GRE book. Uh, I would also go for a GRE book, Money. Will I be able to participate? Well, Abhishek, I'm sorry. This is only for the students. Okay. Guys, I see 76% of you have have chosen a GRE book of your choice. How about the rest of you guys? I would personally want to go for a pizza meal with my family and friends. Okay guys, here are the poll results. I am sharing it with you. Uh, GRE book of your choice. 76% of you have opted for a GRE book of your choice. Flipkart voucher worth rupees 500. 18% of you have gone for that and 6% of you want a piece. Alright Abhishek, handing over to you. Alright, so the winner of Today's GRE Academy Award will get a GRE book of his choice. That's a very interesting option. So guys, you can all you can always just keep your choices. Just write down your choice so that you don't forget. So one lucky winner, uh, one earned winner will get a GRE book of his choice. Okay. So guys, uh, are we clear with the statement of purpose? What all comes in a statement of purpose? Okay. Now finance. Guys, what is an expense, guys? Can anyone tell me what is an expense? Not the amount, but according to you, what is an expense? Not the amount. Amount varies from college to college, but what is an expense, basically? Uh, the money spent, says Charan. Exactly. Whatever you spend, whatever you spend is an expense. Correct. So, basically, your expense in the US would be your tuition fee and your cost of living. Okay, now, your cost of living would include your accommodation, your food, your internet bills, your phone bills. Correct. Your books. Exactly. Now, a lot of funding options are available. A lot of funding options are available for all of you who don't want to spend your daddy's money. Okay? But for everything, a GRE score is very important. Guys, if you get a GRE score, a good GRE score, okay, you can get a tuition waiver of up to 50 to 60 percent. All right? And not only that, a lot of fellowships are also available, fellowships and scholarships. They, but these are given to very few students who have high GRE scores. All right? So I would suggest you to I would suggest you to aim for a score of at least 325, 330, 325 at least, so that you will be able to apply for a financial aid. Okay, and not only that, a lot of assistantships are also given. So assistantships are generally you assist your trainer, you assist your teacher in reaching or uh, in teaching or research assistantships. Okay, uh, how many of you would like to? How many of you are interested in teaching? You guys, this is the job for you. You can teach or assist your professors in research. And guys, it is paid. Okay, it is definitely paid. Alright? And you'll also get a lot of on-campus jobs where you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to work for, a, for around 20, 20 hours a week. Alright? And a lot of internship opportunities are also there. Now, internship opportunities are not like the internships you get in India where it's not very highly paid. But in the United States, that is not the case. Okay, internship opportunities are very highly paid. Uh, Harshit, there are a lot of jobs available, Harshit. If you're going for academic jobs, see, you can you can assist your trainers, you can assist your teachers, you can assist in your lab. A lot of jobs are available. All right, but for that again, uh, you would need a good yeah, you need a good profile. Okay, you need to apply early. Okay. Now, for all of you who are going for student loans, a lot of things are there. Uh, you, uh, for student loans, basically, you need to get your profile ready. You need to have a good profile. And not only that, your GRE score also matters. Okay, your GRE score also matters. Now, how many of you are working professionals, guys? How many of you are working? 
Charan is working. Ankita is working. Okay, so for all of you who are working, you might have your savings, correct? Self funds, the funds which you saved. <laughs> Charan says nope. I mean, yeah, I mean, you would, you would have savings, correct? Whatever savings you have, you can use that. All right? You can use your savings which you already got. Okay, these are the major funding options. Okay? Now, guys, how many of you remember what the last step is? Your seventh step. Let, how many of you are attentive? Let me see. Harshit was the first person to answer. Exactly, visa. Correct. Guys, a visa is basically an authenticity of your purpose to travel in the US. Alright? So the visa officer, they generally, they'll check if you'll return to the native country. They'll check if your application is genuine, if you've furnished all genuine documents. Okay? And they'll also check if you're eligible for a student visa, if you've actually got a proper admit or not. If you have financial aid, if the university is an accredited university. Accredited university. And not only that, they'll also check if you have sufficient funding, if you'll be able to support yourself in the U.S. Okay? And they'll also check about your future plans. What do you intend to do in the United States? Alright? Now, if your ultimate purpose is just to immigrate and not to, uh, not, if you're not going for a good job, then they'll definitely, uh, they'll definitely have a problem. Yes, Manish Kumar, you can apply from Nepal. So guys, are we all clear with the seven basic steps? Okay, Manish has a all right, lot of doubts regarding visa. Well, guys, I'll tell you one thing. All right, Your GRE score also helps you in obtaining a visa. See, if you don't have a good GRE score, you, you won't get into a very high top-ranked university, correct? Now, if you don't get into a top-ranked university, what kind of a job will you get into, guys? Low-ranked university, correct. And low-ranked job also, a low-paying job. So, if you have a low-paying job, what the visa officer will think is that you're just going to do that to complete master's and settle in the U.S., not actually to, uh, you know, study. Okay, so that is why if you get a good GRE score and get into a top-ranked university, your your visa your visa process would be like a walk in the park. Everything would be very smooth. Ajay Verma backlogs would not be affected as long as you clear all your backlogs. So are we all clear, guys? Okay, so you can ask me your doubts. Well, Jay Prakash, yes, you can inform that also. That that won't be a problem. Time for the GRES Academy Award. Uh, all right, money. Guys, uh, are you aware of the GRES Academy Award? How many of you are aware of the GRES Academy Award? All right, don't know, don't know. Okay, don't worry guys, I'll, I'll tell you uh, what is GREH Academy Award. Okay, guys, how, uh, before before starting, how many of you would like to win the GREH Academy Award? I want to win. Me, me, me. Right. Even Abhishek wants to win here, seriously. I, I would love to uh, win the Academy Award money. <laughs> Alright, guys. Alright. Guys, I'll tell you, all you have to do is write a small summary of... T okay. Alright, guys, all you have to do is, you have to write... Seven steps to MS in US, which is the hardest step and why? You have to write a, a, a small summary of which is the hardest step in the seven steps to MS in US. Right? I sent you a link. You can log on to that link and post your post your answers there. All right? Which is the hardest step step in the seven steps to MS in US? 
you have to write a small summary for that question our judging panel will will come to a conclusion and announce the winner all right Okay, so uh, meanwhile, all of you, uh, for all of you who are participating the, in the Academy Award, you can participate. Meanwhile, you can ask me your doubts, guys. But before that, how many of you would like GREs to help you with your GRE preparation, guys? With your most important step. How many of you would like GREs to help you with your GRE preparation? Or how many of you would like an expert to give you a call? To reach your target score. Would love to. I need to talk to the export before I choose a program. Maybe I will prepare on my own, not yet decided. Priyanka says she would love to. Well, Priyanka, you just participated in the poll question. Guys, for all of you who would like to give uh, who would like to receive a call from the expert, you just uh, just uh, you can just participate in the poll question. For all of you who would like to join the GRH program, a complete GRE program with two trainers, just just uh, participate in the poll question. All right, guys. Have all of you responded? Have all of you written your su summaries? All right. Trina has already posted. Guys, if you are done, if you are done answering the question, then you can post your doubts in here. Uh, Harshit has a doubt. Harshit is asking, what about placements in the top hundred? Well, Harshit, see, uh, there would be uh, a lot of placements, a lot of uh, job search, okay, jo job fairs. Okay, so that won't be a problem. Even if it's a top. Uh, well, Shreya, yes. I mean, if you've done an internship from an NGO and if it's from that particular field, then it'll help. Uh, well, Priyanka, the scholarship deadlines will close much before the university application deadline, so you would have to check the university website to get the exact information. Ankit, can you please repeat your question? Uh, definitely money content. If you go for a score of around 330, you can definitely go into a top 20 ranked university. Ankit, uh, see, I would suggest you not to mention the year gap in your statement of purpose. In case they ask, you can tell, but uh, don't mention it. What were you doing during that time, Ankit? Ankita, you can participate for the Academy Award in our Facebook page. Uh, well, Harsh, since you have two years of experience in the field, I would definitely suggest you to apply to a top ranked university, all right? But since you have experience, that is not the only only criteria, okay? You would have to work on your, um, you would also have to work on your GRE score. Okay. All right, guys. There's a heavy competition going on in here. Our judging panel is finding it very difficult to choose one out of all your answers. So, guys, have you all responded? 
A GRE book of your choice. How many of you would love to win it? Write down your answers. Which is the hardest step in the seven steps to MS in US and why? The best answer according to our judging panel will be awarded the GRE Edge Academy award winner. Okay, Ankit says he's posted. What are the colleges for MS Computer Science feasible with my profile? Well, Harsh, can you please send your profile once again? You can do one thing. You just send your profile to info at greh.com. All right, I'll ask a profile expert to just check it and give you a call. Would that be fine? You just send it to info at greh.com. Uh, yes, Shreya, the, the projects which you've done in your engineering program will help you. It counts under your academic achievements. Okay, if you have a project completion certificate or anything like that, then that would definitely help you. Uh, Mani Sriram says he's done with his writing and he's posted it in the Facebook page. Yeah, okay, Sriram, uh, the judging panel is uh, judging your responses. We'll get back with the winner in a short time. Well, Ankit, it's okay, Ankit. Uh, you just don't mention the one-year gap in your statement of purpose. I have scored only 64 in BE Academic, but if I score 330, will I get into a good university? Well, money condensed, see, 64 is one. 64 is, is one, uh, one point, and your 330 is another. Okay, but that is only your GRE score. See, other things are also involved. Okay, you need to work on your SOP, your LOR. Have you done any paper presentations? Only if you've done paper presentations and other other uh, criteria are met, you will be able to get into a top ranked university. Okay, because your profile should be good enough. I would suggest you to do a lot of internships and a lot of paper presentations. Okay, you've done three paper presentations. Okay, any projects in internships? Then you can definitely aim for a high score, but uh, not very. Uh, see, even your profile should be good. Okay, you've also done paper presentations. All right, and any publications? Any publications or internships or projects? Okay, well, I would suggest you to do that. I would suggest you to uh, do two, three paper publications so that it will help you in achieving your goal. Well, Ankita, uh, she wrote her GRE three, uh, last year and got 306. She has two and a half years of experience. Will it be advisable to apply on this score? Well, Ankita, are you looking for a funding? Are you looking for a financial aid? Yes, okay. Are you looking for... Um, are you looking for a top ranked university? Well, if your answer is yes for both these questions, well, I wouldn't suggest you to apply with that score, Ankita. Alright, if you're looking for a top ranked university, I would suggest at least 320. Okay, yes, you have work experience, but if you're looking for a top ranked university and you're looking for funding, I would suggest you to uh, retake your exam again. Okay, Ankita? All right. Charan is asking the same question as Ankita. Well, I I hope I answered that question. Monica, do people with experience have any sort of advantage at any point of time in the masters? Well, Monica, if your work experience is in that relevant field, then it definitely has has uh, importance. It definitely you'll get you'll be given advantage. Yes, Pranav, the full length exam is the same is the exact similar it's the exact similar exam which you get in your actual GRE exam. The GRE full length adaptive tests are also like that. 
Uh, well, Sriram, you can do that. Like, you can do that, but it should be uh, make it a bit more elaborate. Okay, now I don't know what exactly the project you've done, so you should make it more elaborate. Yes, Ankit, you would get, but as I said, GRE and your your college percentage is not the only thing. Okay, other other thing also, other other things are also important. Paper publications, paper presentations, internships, projects. All right, Abhishek. Let me interrupt you for here for a minute. Uh, yeah, definitely, Mani. Guys, uh, the results are out for GRE Edge Academy Award. How many of you are waiting for the result? For the re result to announce. Can you guess who is the winner? Who who has written the best answer? Sanjay says me. Okay, Priyanka is eagerly waiting. No idea, Charan says. Okay, guys, the ju the judging panel has given the decision, right? Right. So, without much ado, let me announce the winner. Today's GREH Academy Award winner is. Are you ready to hear? Okay, today's GREH Academy Award winner is Pranav Sharma. Give a big round of applause for Pranav Sharma. That was very well done, Pranav. That was really well written. The panelists really like the usage of his uh, Pranav's words. Okay, I'll, I'll read it out what Pranav has written. Pranav, Pranav writes, the pivotal step and the hardest step is to get a high score in GRE because previous academic records and all the other steps are dependent on this step. Since getting a good GRE score is highly Byzantine process and has more factors coming into play than any other step. That was really that was really smart guy guys. All right. So Pranav Pranav wins a, a favorite GRE book of his choice. Pranav Charan is congratulating you and so are the panelists here. Abhishek is also congratulating you. Okay, that was very well done. That was fantastic. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for attending today's seminar. But before we go, uh, we'd like you to join our next seminar. I'll send you a link. I will send you a link. You can click on it and uh, register for the next seminar. The next seminar is Guide to Crack Tough RC Passages in GRE. Guys, how many of you find RC Passages tough? How many of you find RC passages tough? Okay, I'm sure most of you do. Even I find it tough, but that's not a problem. Uh, next seminar, uh, Abhishek will clarify all your doubts regarding RC passages. All right, you can register it. Uh, register for the seminar right now. And since we had uh, more, uh, since we had uh, many students attending us today, we might not have been able to answer all of your questions. But not to worry, we'll uh, we'll answer all of your questions and uh, and send you a mail. You can you can access your uh, the answers to your questions through your mail. If you have any more doubts, you can call us on nine eight eight four four five three two seven six and email us at info at grh dot com. The details are on the screen. You can note down the number. Okay, so guys, some of you might have missed some part of the seminar. So, would you like a recorded version of this online seminar? Would you like a recorded version of this online seminar?
Yes, definitely. Charan says, I do want please. Bilal says, okay. Yes, definitely, guys. Definitely, uh, you can answer this poll and we'll respond to that. Would you like the recorded version of this online seminar? Yes, I would like to share it with my friends. Yes, I joined the online seminar late. No, I understood everything. No, the webinar doesn't contain what I am looking for. I would like to attend the seminar live in future. Okay. We'll upload the recorded version of this of today's seminar in our website and send you the link through email. Guys, you can keep in contact with us. You keep uh, keep an eye on keep an eye from GRH emails. Yeah, you can also keep in touch with us from our, on our Facebook page, right? And if, if any, you have any further queries, you can call us on on the phone number that you see on the screen, right? Or even email us at info at grh.com. Okay, guys. So, 53% of you have said uh, have said that you want a recorded version of today's online seminar. We'll send you a link. We'll send you a link. You uh, you can check your mails. Check check your mails from grh.com. Okay, guys. I I'll send you one more link right now. I have sent you another link. You can bookmark that link. We'll be answering your questions and posting it on that link. You can you can click on that link, go to that page, and bookmark that page. A recorded version of that of today's seminar, as well as the answers answers to your questions, will all be answered there. You can keep the link bookmarked. Okay. By tomorrow, we'll we'll be updating that page. The, all your questions will be answered. Okay, thanks for attending today's online seminar, guys. It was really fun uh, talking to you uh, today. I hope you I hope you enjoyed the webinar as well as uh, got relevant information that you were looking for. Hope to meet you soon again in the next webinar. All the best, all the best for your GRE. Thank you.